I'm Mr Badger and uh, today we're going to be doing a SATA drive installation. Right, now uh, SATA is serial ATA, so this transfers at approximately 1.5 to 6 gigabytes per second. So it's incredibly fast compared to your standard um, IDE, which is integrated drive electronics. Um, SATA also has external um, ports, such as eSATA. Um, these use SATA cables which uh, you can see here. Um, so we'll start by uh, having a look inside our computer now and uh, see what we need to do if we're going to put in uh, new SATA, SATA drives. So as you can see here, we have our computer case. It's a standard uh, C, uh, power supply and uh, we've got a single IDE drive in here. We're going to be installing two SATA hard drives. So as you can see here, one Samsung one. You can see the ports here. And our second drive, which is a Bar Barracuda one. So um, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take out our ID hard drive and we're going to put in our new SATA one. So uh, simply just take out our old uh, ID hard drive. So we'll take out the ID cable and the power supply cable. And it's a very simple case to take out. It's just a slide out. You can see there. So um, it's very simple to take out our ID drive. And then uh, simply just slide in our new SATA drives. So this is the simple part, to be honest. Unfortunately, with SATA drives, um, they require a different power cabling than our old ID uh, drives. So for this, we're also going to need to install a new power supply unit. So before I do that, I'm just going to take out these old IDE cables that we're not going to use anymore. So I'm going to just show you our SATA, SATA cables again. So here's one of the SATA cables that we'll be using. Now compare these to our standard IDE cables. They are very much uh, smaller and thinner, so it's less congestion in your uh, computer case. And um, compared with the size, you wouldn't think that they'd transfer more data at a faster rate, but as with modern technology, it's getting smaller and smaller, so uh, we're transferring 1.5 to 6 gigabytes per second. Right, so uh, we're going to put this on our top uh, side to drive here. So we'll simply, so it goes into the smallest uh, pin pins here. So this is the tricky part. There we go. So it just slides in. You need to make sure it's the right way around. There's uh, you can see the pins on each each one, so you know which way it goes round. And I'm just going to make it nice and neat in here. So and then plug it into our SATA port on the motherboard. So there's our first drive which is all now connected. Just do the same with our second drive. As you can see the, the one that I'm plugging into the hard drive is sort of uh, at a right angle so it makes makes it easier to plug it in. There's less uh, less cabling to go around as well. These these are considerably short, uh, short. and unfortunately with SATA though you can only plug in one drive per cable. That's one uh, slight disadvantage of SATA. However, you do get faster speeds. So there we go. Now we've we've got our uh, SATA drives now connected to the motherboard. However, they've got no power, so um, we're going to have to change our power supply unit. Now, the standard power supply unit, as the same with this one has got the normal four pin ports here. However, for the SATA drive, 
we need these newer ports, which you can see here, these are black ones. So these obviously um, power a SATA drive, and uh, they're s smaller than these ones. There are, you can get um, converters which convert this uh, four pin into the SATA power connector. However, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go the long haul and change our power supply. So um, first things first, we need to take out our old one. So we'll just take it out. Like so. Now we're gonna have to take out the connectors to the other drives as well. So take out our DVD-ROM drive connectors and our floppy drive. And we're also gonna need to take it out from the motherboard. So we we'll take out our four, four pin uh, motherboard for the CPU connector and also our main power connector. This one will be stiff to take out, so there we go. There we go, I've taken out uh, our old PSU and now we're going to put in our new one. So I'll just put this to the side. So, all right, so here's our new power supply that we're going to be putting in. Same things that we need to do, we need to put in our main power connector and our four pin connector, if I can find it, here we go, like that one. So uh, just put it into the same ports that you took out the other ones from. So. There's the 24 pin one in, and put the 4 pin one in, same place, it just clicks in like that. So now, all we need to do is connect up the uh, other drives that we had to take out. So the CD drives, DVD drives, connect uh, power connectors. Like so, you need to always make sure that whatever you take out, you always put back in with the new stuff, otherwise uh, you'll find that it won't work. So our floppy drive connector, it's in. Now, line everything up, push it down. <coughs> Right, so that's up the, that's the hard drive replaced. So now the final phase of this is um, just to put the power, SATA power cables to our SATA drives. So as you remember, it's our black ones that we have here. So these simply go in and as with the SATA cables, they have got a specific way which they go in. There's a sort of right angled bit which bends down and you can see on here that it's, there's a right angle bit on the left if you're looking at it. So we just line it up and push down. And there we have it. We've replaced our old ID hard drive with a SATA our drive and uh, because we put in new SATA drives we also had to reinstall uh, put in a new power supply so there's our computer fully done this was uh, Mr Badger on a SATA hard drive installation I hope you enjoyed it and uh, tune in for the next video thanks